What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview video for you. So in today's video we're going to check out the free new extension from Fredo 6, Move Align Me, which is basically a tool designed to simplify the alignment process of aligning objects to of aligning objects to other objects that don't necessarily just sit on the red, green, or blue axes. Um, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on my patrons you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week so this week my patrons voted and they selected move align me as the extension so if that's something you're interested in you can check that out by going to patreon.com slash the sketchup essentials or by visiting the link in the notes down below now let's go ahead and just jump into it all right so you can download this extension by visiting the sketchication plugin store so I will link to this in the notes down below note that it's currently listed as being a free extension so you can download it and use it um, some of Fredo's extensions have been going paid lately which I totally support because I think he deserves support for everything that he's done for SketchUp so you can donate to him if you want to support him as well but just know that this uh, currently is free it may turn into a paid extension in the future but you can download that here there's also a forum post where Fredo has basically done a write-up of exactly how this works what it's there for he's got some different videos other things like that so make sure you check that out as well and then finally so he's also got a user manual in here for both the move and glue as well as the move pivot straighten functions that are in here so if you need more information on exactly how this is going to work you can do that from this page all right so one thing to note is make sure that you've updated your lib fredo um, inside of sketchup to the newest version as well you can get that through the sketchup uh, the sketchcation plugin store as well and so when you enable this tool it's basically got two functions in here right it has a move pivot and straighten function and it also has a move and glue function. And so we're gonna take a look at both of these. So if you've ever tried to align something to a face, you know, and you've got some kind of like crazy face like this inside of SketchUp, you know that it can be a little bit frustrating because you end up bringing something in. So you pick a point. So if I select this window, for example, and I bring this in, then you would have to come in and you would have to activate the rotate tool and rotate this this way. And then it's inside of the wall. And it just, it can be a really frustrating experience like notice how for example your um, your rotate isn't set up right so you would have to adjust the model axes to get the rotate set up right it, it's not a very good way to do that right um, it's doable but it takes a lot of work well what this tool does is it simplifies that process so if I click on this for example and then I pick a point on my object so like this point right here and notice I get little inference points in here from the uh, from the extension but if I click on this point right here then I click on the face notice how a it takes everything into x-ray mode so I can actually see what I'm doing but I can click on that face well notice how then it allows me to set a second point based on that point so if I come in here and click I can just rotate this across so that it aligns with the surface right here so what we're doing is we're basically rotating this so it hits somewhere on this face like this so we're just going to pick a point on the line like this one well then what it does is it lets you set a third point like this and actually rotate your object up so that it actually aligns so it's basically automating this process so that you can line up with this face so now if i look at this um, and it's a little bit of a weird example just because the glass is kind of recessed in here but notice how this window is now aligned with this face in here and so maybe a better example is let's say I was to draw like a house profile so something very very simple like this draw a line across the face and we'll just move it up so now I've got this angled face in here for our window. All right, so let's say that we wanted to align this object with our roof now. Well, what we would do is we would just come in here, we would just activate the tool, we'd click to select a base point, then we'd click on the surface, right? So somewhere on this surface, doesn't really matter. So something right here, we'd set our second point, which is going to be this point right here. And then we would just pick somewhere on this face right here. And then the final thing we would do is we would pick a final point based on that first point. So it would just be this point right here. And all you have to do is just pick a point that aligns with the surface like this. And then once we're done, we just hit the space key 
to jump out of there and you can see how this window is perfectly aligned with the surface now. So it really simplifies that. Um, obviously there's not an opening that's cut in here so you are seeing the surface in here. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, so the function I like even more than the one we already talked about is the move and glue function. So what the move and glue function is gonna do is it's gonna take a component or an object and it's basically going to align it automatically to a surface. Then there's other things you can do with it as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate the tool with the selected and I'm gonna set a point. And in this case, we're gonna select this point right here. Notice how if I tap the control key, then I can go into copy mode so I can create a copy of an object. But notice how now this is automatically going to align with the surfaces that I mouse over. So notice how it's taking this and it's aligning it to these different surfaces. And so if I click, it's gonna place it on that surface right here. And I don't really have to do anything else with it. But what you may be noticing is, notice how it's just sitting on the face outside of an object, which is fine unless we're dealing with something like a window, right, that needs something cut in it. So what we can do with this is we can actually use the deep glue function that's in here in order to take this and put it inside of the group so that it affects the face that's in here, the raw face, and cuts an opening. So the way that works is we're just gonna activate this again. I'm gonna set a base point, I'm gonna tap control, in order to go into copy mode. Well, this time when I mouse over this face, notice how there's an option for toggle shift for deep gluing. And so what that's gonna do, if you, if you tap the shift key, is that's gonna put you in deep glue mode. That's going to find the face that's inside of the group and it's gonna turn it green, showing you, okay, we've recognized a face. And now if you click in here, this is actually going to glue this to the face inside of the group. So if I click, and then we'll hit the space key to jump out of here. Notice how not only did that glue that to this surface, but it also activated it as a cut component, meaning that now it's cutting an opening in that surface. So that's really only gonna work on um, walls with like a single thickness. So if this had like a six inch thickness or something like this, it wouldn't necessarily work that same way. But um, it's still a pretty cool function. And so, this is another window that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. Well, notice how if I try to do this with this window right here, it's gonna stand up on the face. And so the reason for that is because the axis of the component is facing the wrong direction. And so let's take a look at an example really quick. So this is an object that I'm gonna create as a group. So I'm just gonna do a make group. And then let's say I was to activate the move and glue tool. So first off, one of the cool things about this tool is it will pick up on curves and align your object to a curve, but notice how I'm having an issue in here where it's laying down, right? So notice how right here, what it's doing is it's following along the curve, but it's not standing it up, it's laying it down. And so the reason for that is because this extension places objects based on their blue axis orientation. Right? So notice how right now the blue axis orientation is facing up. Well, what this extension does is it aligns the blue axis of an object with the normals of like the faces or the direction of the curve. So what that's doing then is that's taking this object and it's placing it based on that blue axis direction. So I'm gonna tap the control key or I'm gonna hold the control key and click in order to create a copy. However, let's say that we were to make a copy of this. And for this one, we're gonna use the axis tool to change the blue axis direction. So now, instead of this standing up, I'm gonna set the blue axis so that it actually faces forward like this. So now the blue axis is facing this way. So if I take this object and I use move and glue, and I set the center point, notice how this object is going to stand up like this. So this is placing that based on that blue axis direction. Knowing that, what that means is that means we can come in here and we can fix the way that this window sits on a surface just by double clicking inside of it and adjusting that blue axis so that it faces forward. We're just going to click on the axis tool. We're gonna click in here. And then we'll click again in order to place this. So now if I double click in here, notice how the blue axis is facing this direction. So if I take this 
pick my point, which in this case, I'm going to pick this point right here. Mouse over this, notice how now this is facing the proper direction. But I've got my blue axis facing backwards instead of forward. So we're gonna go in and fix that real quick so that we don't have that issue. So instead of having the strong blue facing this way, we want it facing this way. Now notice how you can set that just by moving your mouse around. So then I'm gonna click in here and say yes, now this is facing forward rather than backward. So now I can just select this, pick my midpoint. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that control key in order to go to copy mode, and then I'm gonna hold or I'm gonna tap shift to select this face, but then if I click, it's gonna place this object in this group as a cut component. So you can see how aligning and placing things like windows with this extension is really easy. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. If you have any questions, I just love having that conversation with you guys. Um, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.